Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to Love and Wisdom with me, Wiza. Um, so let's just get started. Let's get straight to the point. Today we're going to be talking about the following situation. I like my best friend's ex and I want to ask them out on a date. My best friend and their ex were dating a year and a half, about a year and a half, two years ago. But my best friend has moved on and is happily dating someone new now. I'm not sure what to do. Okay, so this is a really interesting and complex situation. And there aren't any easy answers, but I'll first give you the simple answer and then we'll kind of go into it and delve into it a little bit more and dissect um, essentially this dilemma. So first of all, my flat out simple answer to this dilemma would be do not pursue anything with your best friend's ex until you tell your best friend. And a couple of reasons why I'm taking such a strong stance and I really believe this. First of all, I really believe that friendship is one of the purest forms of love and relationship. It's, it's like that kind of um, connection that often is completely expectation free. So it's something to be honored. Secondly, romantic relationships, irrespective of how long they may have lasted or not lasted, are sacred. So be very cautious about stepping into that space of dating your friend's best friend's ex. I think it's um, it can potentially open up a whole world of hurt and it's a big risk that you would be taking um, to go behind your best friend's back and start dating their ex. So be very cautious if, if you choose to proceed in that way. Now, having said that, I definitely understand that this is a complex situation. Sometimes there may be a strong urge, an intuitive urge to want to pursue something with someone who you may feel a really strong connection to. And that's completely understandable. But I also believe that on the other side, there is always a choice. There is always a choice. Um, and we can't really, as much as we need to legitimate our um, feelings and impulses, we also need to recognize that we always do have a choice to take a certain action or not. Um, if it is the case though that you feel this almost this um, urge like a destiny calling or um, if you feel this really strong intuitive urge to pursue a connection with this person definitely tell your best friend gauge the situation see how they react you never know maybe your best friend will be like no I'm completely over that person I don't mind at all so in that case great problem solved but maybe your best friend um, would be completely uncomfortable and not fine with it and that's something really to consider as well because at the end of the day um, hearing something like that from uh, your friend may make your best friend feel betrayed it may make them feel that you're being disloyal it may make them start to mistrust you they may start going back down memory lane wondering whether um, all those times that they shared um, their secrets with you, whether you were advising them in a way that was um, with integrity or if there was some other kind of um, aspect that was clouding your advice to them. So they may start to feel a whole host of things and frankly, they would be completely justified in, um, in feeling those things. So really, really, I would say that um, take into consideration uh, what the friendship means to you, take into consideration your best friend's feelings and then make a decision. So let's say that does happen. Let's say the second situation happens and your best friend's not comfortable. Um, at that point, you would really have to assess and dig a bit deeper into what your personal values are and make a decision according to that. And frankly, um, there are no clear right and wrong answers. So perhaps um, friendship is a value that is really, really important to you. Important to you you may decide not to pursue anything at all with your best friend's ex. Now, if on the other hand, um, you really value following your heart, following your feelings and your impulses, then you may choose to prioritize that over your um, best friend's discomfort. Whatever decision you make in terms of the end um, result, whether you choose to pursue something with the ex or not, 
Um, there's no really clear cut right and wrong answer, but I will say this. What I think would be shady though, is if you didn't tell your best friend about your feelings and about your thoughts on this. I think that if they are in fact your best friend or even, a fr or even let alone a, f a friend, right? That has meaning, a friendship is important. You owe it to your best friend to be transparent and open up and share your feelings and then accordingly make a decision based on your values. Another way to really dig and understand our own personal values is to put ourselves in the other person's shoes, to ask ourselves, how would I feel if my best friend started dating my ex and didn't tell me? Um, and if you find that that's something that would make you feel uncomfortable, then maybe um, apply that same standard to your best friend. Maybe you're someone who would take it very lightly and um, it would be something very chill. So maybe then uh, you would choose to continue to pursue something with uh, the ex. Bottom line though, tell your best friend how you feel. And then, based on your personal values, make a decision accordingly. So today, um, I'll leave you with a really powerful quote about friendship and about the loss of friendship from one of my favorite authors of one of my absolute favorite books, Le Petit Presse. The author is Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And I have the book behind me here, Le Petit Presse, but I'm actually gonna be reading um, a quote directly from the author. Like, so this is not from Le Petit Presse, but it is a quote from Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. So here goes. Nothing in truth can ever replace a lost companion. Old comrades cannot be manufactured. There is nothing that can equal the treasure of so many shared memories, so many bad times endured together, so many quarrels, reconciliations, heartfelt impulses. Friendships like that cannot be reconstructed. If you plant an oak, you will hope in vain to sit soon under its shade. For such is life. We grow rich as we plant through the early years. But then come the years when time undoes our work and cuts down our trees. One by one, our comrades deprive us of their shade. And within our mourning, we always feel now the secret grief of growing old. If I search among my memories for those whose taste is lasting, if I write the balance sheet of the moments that truly counted, I surely find those that no fortune could have bought me. You cannot buy the friendship of a companion bound to you forever by ordeals endured together. So that's a really powerful quote by the author Antoine de Saint-Exupéry about friendship and about the loss of friendship, about the nature of friendship, the enduring nature of friendship that often lingers in our hearts, even after a friendship may have disintegrated in the physical realm. So I'd like to leave you with that. I think this is some really good food for thought to ponder upon as you make your decision. Um, whatever you do, make sure that it's coming from a place of integrity and it's a decision that is really authentic to you and your values. And um, so I'd love to hear from you as well. Is there a time in your life when you had to deal with a similar dilemma, where you had to make a tough decision? Feel free to co make a comment in the comment section. I'd also love to hear any kind of topics that you would like to discuss, so feel free to also leave a comment in the comment section or uh, directly message me and I'll definitely be sure to cover that. Have a great rest of the day and um, enjoy the weather, it's getting really nice out. Okay, bye, take care.